Welcome to Twilio Tip Tuesday. Twilio tips are never longer than two minutes, so let's get started. Tip number six is testing webhooks locally with ngrok. In previous tips, we showed how when a user sends a text message to your phone number, Twilio needs to make an HTTP request to your web server. This is the part that this tip focuses on. What if your web server, in this case, is actually localhost? In this case, Twilio can't actually reach localhost, so we need to use something else to make that possible. What we'll use is a tool called ngrok. ngrok creates a secure tunnel from your code running on localhost out to the public internet through a URL that ngrok gives to you. In this case, in this image, it's demo.ngrok.com. When the user on the left visits demo.ngrok.com, they reach the code that is running locally over on the right. As a more concrete example, take a look at this node application that's going to run on port 3000. It responds to an incoming text message. If I run node app.js, the express server is listening on port 3000. I'll then run ngrok in another terminal listening for HTTP traffic on port 3000. This gives me a forwarding URL that I can take over to Twilio and put in the webhook section for where a message comes in. If I head back over to ngrok at this point and send a text message to my phone number, you'll see that the post request is successful on localhost. I also added a logging statement to the node app so you could see that it did hit our locally running code. If you want to give ngrok a try for yourself, head to ngrok.com download. If you're interested in how ngrok was built, there's this fantastic session with the creator from a previous Twilio signal. And if you want more Twilio tips, here's the Twilio tips playlist. There are six of them now. Until the next one, I'm out of here.